Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to do an update on the BMW 535i F10 that I recently purchased. So as we move to the front of the garage, we can see that I have started acquiring the parts needed to go through this car completely and make it nice and reliable. There's a lot of big boxes stacking up in here. This garage is getting increasingly smaller and I almost have everything I need to get started on this project. Now, I did already take on one critical issue and that is over here on the bench. So I made a rookie mistake when buying this car and that was that I bought it with a single key fob. Since I bought it from a dealer, I really should have negotiated the price of a new key fob into the purchase price. Well, lesson learned there. So I called up the BMW dealer to see what it would cost to get a replacement key fob made because I'm not one to just risk it on only having one key because what happens if you lose it or you get stranded somewhere? You want to make sure you have a backup key. So the BMW dealership quoted me about $650 to get a new key fob made. And that just about put me off this F10 altogether. So I started searching around and I found an independent shop that was able to make me a replacement key fob with an OEM key for $310, which is still a lot of money, but it's certainly less than what I was gonna be charged at the BMW dealer. So I went ahead and did that. Now what happened afterwards is why I'm doing this update video. So when I got into the car after getting this new key fob, I mean the key fob worked well and unlocked the doors, it did everything you'd expect it to do. But when I went to turn on the car, there was a series of random things that happened, such as the tire pressure monitoring system said malfunction, and the AC controls were set on their default position, which is full blast auto mode, which I never have my AC controls set to that. And then additionally, all my radio presets were cleared. So I figured, oh, this must be what they have to do when they set up a new key fob. They have to probably disconnect the battery, which resets various things throughout the car. I didn't think much about it. And I figured the tire pressure monitoring system, I mean, it was a cold day. I figured maybe one of the tires is low and I just need to top it up. So I didn't go back to the shop thinking they had done anything wrong. And uh, when I got back home, I aired up the tires. Everything was good. And the tire pressure monitoring system said it was still faulty. So they got me thinking, okay, maybe something else is going on here. Maybe the mechanic accidentally reset something they shouldn't have. I know it can happen. I've worked in shops myself before. These diagnostic systems that they set up new keys for and clear various systems in the car for are very complex. And sometimes you have to hunt and peck before you find the right system to reset. And I have a feeling that's what they did. They were just going through the list and resetting everything until they got to the menu that gave them the reset function needed to get the key uh, synced up with the vehicle. I, I don't know exactly what that process looks like, but that's my theory on why the car suddenly is acting completely foreign to me compared to the car that I dropped off with them. So that got me looking into various scanning diagnostic tools that I could use for this BMW F10. I'm starting to realize it's not a good idea to own a modern BMW like this F10 without some sort of dedicated scanner device so you can at least diagnose problems and potentially fix them on your own without having to go to the dealer or schedule a service appointment and get charged a lot to just fix simple things with the car. And it was around this same time that the company Ansel reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to try out our new BMW scanner device? And <laughs> I don't typically follow up with these sort of promotional offers because they don't typically fit the projects I'm currently working on. They're not typically parts that or, or materials or systems that I would buy myself typically. But this is one situation where I was like, yes, I will take you up on that offer because I need this tool right now. So what we've got here is a diagnostic scanner specifically made for modern BMWs. You just plug it into the OBD2 port and you have a color screen that you can go through various menus and do various functions that support diagnostics on this car. So in this video, we're going to take this tool, hook it up to my car and see if we can't fix all those little nitty gritty details that are driving me crazy. So inside the box is the scanner device here, which has a nice like rubber outer shell so you can probably drop it and it'll be okay and this is connected to an obd2 type connector right here and then you've got a connector that will hook it up to your computer if you want to load data or something into your computer also comes with a helpful 
instruction manual right there in case you need to reference something. But these are pretty self-explanatory typically to use. So you just need to go over to your car and hook it up to the OBD2 port, which is always on the left side of the dashboard. It's pretty easy to find. Just have to pull this cover down and hook this into place like that. And you can see that the tool comes online like this. So first I want to show you the problems that I'm experiencing. So when I turn the car on, it says tire pressure monitoring malfunction. And you can see that this is flashing up in there indicating that there's a problem with the tire pressure. All right, so I've hooked up the tool. The ignition will need to be on, so you just give it one tap here. You don't start the car, but you get it to the on position. Then you can go over to four BMW. See, every time you turn on this, oh, I need to reset this. Every time you turn on the car, it's giving me this notification that you have to go to the iDrive and accept. It's just really annoying. I don't know why BMW just doesn't make it more of just a notification more than an actual error you have to acknowledge every time you start the car that's a bit annoying giving more reason to fixing it and go and select the 5 series go down to the f10 and i'm not sure where the tps system lives so we'll start with basic functions do a system scan. So I think that these mean that there are stored codes for each one of these systems. So we can just go into one of them. Engine control module, let's just check that out. Read fault codes. Air intake temperature sensor. Misfire several cylinders. Lots of just random codes, and I don't know how old some of these are. So it gives you an idea of how troubled your particular vehicle is, or has been in the past. I have a feeling I can just clear all of these codes, and they will all, they'll probably be fine. Either way, they're not showing any check engine lights on the dash, so I don't imagine any of them are actual current issues. So here is the tire pressure control system read fault codes transport mode active I'm gonna see if clearing this perhaps we'll get rid of this now it says tire pressure monitoring system active okay so let's see if that actually fixed it so what we're gonna do is turn it off Turn it on. And I'd say that fixed it. I don't have any more icon up there. I go to vehicle info, vehicle status. Look at that. And look how reset is now active. So <laughs> I'd say that alone just paid for the cost of this scanner device. So these are about around $150. Sometimes you can find them on sale. But if you check in the description of this video, I'm getting a discount for all of you guys. Just click the link in the description, use the discount code below, and you can pick one of these up for substantially less. So one really nice aspect of this particular diagnostic tool is that it allows you to set up a new battery for the car because you do have to register and program the battery to work with the vehicle. So that's what this is. So you can register a battery change and evaluate the battery's state of charge. I'm rerunning the full system scan to see if any of those fault codes came back. It looks like everything is checking out okay now. This is really cool to be able to go through all the systems in this car. Obviously a very complex technologically advanced vehicle. I mean, 2011, that's when they were throwing all of these high-tech systems in these things, and they're bound to go wrong as they age. So really having a tool like this 
at your disposal is critical if you're going to own a car like this. Um, these things can certainly throw all these warning lights up on the dashboard and really make you feel, I mean, it really hurts you mentally. It really starts to bring you down when you see all these lights saying, hey, this is wrong, this is wrong, and really, nothing's really wrong mechanically with the car, but it makes you think something is really going out. So having a tool this, like this at your disposal can at least keep you sane or more sane when you're owning a modern German car such as this BMW. So definitely recommend picking this up. It'll at least get you in the ballpark of what needs to be repaired on the car versus what are just things that are just not even needed to be fixed. And since we've got the E39 here, might as well see how this scanner tool works on it. There's the E39. Let's just do a complete system scan of it. All right, looks like there are at least 12 stored faults. Let's just go through them and see what historically has been a problem on here. Starting with the engine control module, FA function check, tank ventilation. So this looks like a EVAP code, which I have fixed with the new fuel tank cap. I think it'd be safe to reset all of these. So unfortunately, it looks like on the E39 system, you can't just clear them all at once. You have to go in one by one and erase them. So there we have it. This BM700 scanner tool works amazing, and if you have an F10 or really any modern BMW, you owe it to yourself to get something like this and save you the headache of taking it to a mechanic or the BMW dealer just to see what those lights on the dashboard are all about. Perhaps it's just as simple as doing a reset like I did on mine. So be sure to check the link in the description below and also the discount code that's waiting for you down there so you can pick one of these up, save yourself a lot of hassle and some money. We'll see you again in the next video. We're gonna go over all of the parts I've purchased for the BMW F10 so we can get it on the road and reliable for a long time to come. See you then.